Okay, I'm here at the photography show with Hasselblad with Chris, and Chris is going to tell us about the new Hasselblad X2D. Hi, Chris. Hi. Can you give us a run through of the new features? Yeah, so I suppose the main feature on it is the new 100 megapixel sensor, 16 uh, bit color, 15 stops dynamic range. I suppose the, the main goodie, if you like, in a, in a big change would be the phase detection autofocus. Obviously, previous models were contrast detection. So that's a feature that a lot of people have been waiting for. Moving on from the sensor, you've then got a one terabyte internal storage SSD, uh, five axis, seven stop stabilizer. So pretty good feature set there. Obviously, in terms of removable storage, you've got a CF Express Type B card. Uh, so if you like, that's the main, main changes. A few little ones in terms of tiltable rear display. We've upgraded the EVF to 5.76 megapixel. Also, that gives you a 100% view and a one times magnification, so it's almost like a window-like view. Um, additionally, we launched three new lenses, which were basically smaller, lighter, and more efficient, so basically faster in terms of focusing higher optical quality, um, plus push-pull manual focus operation, and a control ring. So a lot of new bits and pieces added to the lenses, as well as many, many new features on the camera. Okay, great, thanks. And can you tell us who the target audience is for the X2D camera? Well, obviously there's existing users in terms of X1D, X1D Mark II, who will probably want to either add or update. And then you've probably got your semi-professional, very keen amateur. That's probably where the mass, shall we say, target would be. Um, you know, the, the camera itself, all, always been in terms of X system, that type of user that wants a very small, compact, mirrorless camera to carry around, but still wants that high quality image, basically. Okay, great, thanks. Well, I'll look, uh, look forward to seeing the full review of the X2D on our website. Uh, thanks very much, Chris, and uh, thank you.